Hi guys, good morning and welcome to my most favorite time of the year. It is the end of the school year, so this will be my last year doing a recap and review of the school year. So if you're new to my channel, this past May I just graduated from the University of Kentucky and my college experience has come to a close so sadly. I don't even want to talk about it, but I am excited to kind of talk about some fun memories, some fun things, and then things planning for the future. So, I have Murph in the car. Murphy! Can you say hi? Can you say hi, Murph? Yeah, hi, baby. Um, we're on a car ride. He literally would not let me leave the living room today. Like, if I tried to walk into my room, it was woof, 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 woof. He was like, I've known the Emma, don't leave me. Anyways, so, so pretty much my goal every year since sophomore year, sophomore year, you kind of get the hang of college. You start to kind of figure out who your friends are, what you're doing. So my goal for junior and senior year were to live it to the fullest and try to lean away for some of my like rigid tendencies. Like, yes, you want to do well in school. Yes, be involved in things yes you know make sure you're taking care of yourself but at the same time I wanted to have freaking fun because one thing that's been weird for me since I graduated it didn't feel real because it's summertime so it feels like I'm still going back to school in the fall until I've completely now moved all of my stuff home to my parents house when I still had all my stuff in my college house it was like oh like I'm just choosing to stay at my parents right now no like now I'm fully there and it's really weird because I kept having this sense of like, oh yeah, like it's so sad, it's ending for everybody else, but like I'm gonna get another chance, like my life isn't changing that much. And now I kind of realize like it's not, but things just are different and it's really hitting me that this is like a new chapter of my life that I don't know what to expect. So really weird. I wanna start by just some of the fun things that happened this year and just showing like pictures from them so first off I went to probably I I think I went to every football game this season this year which was so fun and the best part about this year was we lived in a big yellow house on campus across from our sorority house and so it was all KDs in there and we called it the Youse yellow house and we not only called it the Youse but we made this Youse a yome if you will um, and so that was like our biggest running joke. It kind of was the house that all of our friends would come to hang out at and it was really, really fun. There were like eight of us living there, so super fun. Um, and it was just honestly like so nice because before every football game, everyone always came there and we would hang out and get ready and then go to the games together. And just before any big event or just any free time, everyone always came to the Yow. So there's always something going on, which was so just exciting and just made it so much fun. Um, really to go out with the bang of like living with a bunch of your friends for probably like one of the last times in your life So that was awesome um, I also went to a ton of basketball games. I really sucked at going to them in the past. What are we doing back there? Mr. Man? Oh, he's like no But this year it was honestly a lot of fun to watch our basketball team. Um, we had some hometown people on the team like Reed Shepard obviously that everyone knows he just got drafted like a few days ago um, but I don't know, it was just really, I don't know if it was like I'm a senior, it's my last time being involved in it, and we just like really, 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 really sucked the years before, so it wasn't as fun to watch. Um, we didn't make it very far in the fun home, in the, um, in March Madness this year, but uh, we at least made it past the first game, what can you say? Um, but I'm hoping this team next year, because Coach Cal left, can we talk about that? That would happen to the 2020 class. We would have Coach Cal fired, and, not fired, but pushed out if you will um that would happen to the 2020 class you know we just always got to go out on a bang somehow literally I couldn't even believe it there were campuses getting their graduation shut down because of a bunch of protests and so the 2020 class of high school didn't get their 2024 graduation I'm just like you've got to be kidding this is a joke that's just that's our class as a whole described I think um, but anyways, so sports were fun this year. Really enjoyed going to a lot of those. Um, I also was involved in a lot of things for the first time. My first three years, I like didn't really 
I did stuff, but I wasn't a part of a team, or I just, like, didn't know the right places to get involved. Um, so, this year, I finally... I had always wanted to do, Kentucky has a lifestyle and fashion magazine, which if you've seen some of my other blogs, I vlog some of my days shooting for them and editing and doing other things. So they have a lifestyle and fashion magazine called KRNL, and I had the opportunity to be the videographer for them, and it was so, so fun. I don't know how you get into this job field. I'd love to do fashion videography as a career and like go to runway shows and make videos for the company I don't I don't even know what that really would entail but like something with fashion and videography or photography would be so freaking fun um but it was such a cool experience and it really I got to meet a lot of cool people people that you know a lot of people in there weren't in sororities or didn't go to CSF so it wouldn't be my typical circle of people that I would run into but there were a lot of cool people and I got to learn a lot which is super duper fun and just be a part of something and I got to make literally two live copies of a magazine that like I'm in which is so cool and one of the shots I even got to be like photographed in so that was awesome one of the biggest things I was on that may have been joked about in vlogs honestly I didn't really do a great job at vlogging this year um because a lot because of this I was on this competition team for my major and we it was basically like having a full-time job and I like sort of knew that going in but I don't think I realized the extent of how much work it would be um, it was really interesting it it really we had 14 girls on a team and you know sometimes it might have been nice to have a guy to balance this out a little bit but that being said I really did learn a lot from it um, it was really time-consuming but you know that's typical me I have to have something that is very intense going on in my life apparently um and so honestly that made fun memories too because there were so many nights that I was there till 1 or 2 a.m and then you do it again the next night and the next night and the next night and so just there were a lot of things like watching The Bachelor or watching Dancing with the Stars that we all love to do with our own friend groups and roommates at home and we would have to miss it to come work on the project so we'd have it on the TV we were watching March Madness when the cats lost on the TV like we watched a lot of things on that TV um, we watched Drake getting his you know what leaked um, we got to watch all that drama go down on Twitter while we were working on our project which was really funny um, so just a really good time and we all had very different personalities so it was just a lot of variety something was always going on that you never knew what was going on so it was it was a good experience and I am glad that I did it um the only thing that I think I regret about it is because it was so time consuming I literally would like go to my full day of classes plus do stuff for KRNL plus do you know try and do social things but like at night like basically 7 p.m. would hit and I would have to go to the building that we worked in to go work on this project so I really didn't get as much time with my friends as I would have liked um, and part of me is I just since moving from Florida I have a lot of friends that are long distance and I've done good at keeping up with them and so we don't have to talk every day and I think I kind of took for granted my friends here and did the same thing and was like oh it's fine like they're busy too um and not that anything bad happened but I it was kind of I think probably the most important lesson I learned from that team honestly because it kind of prepared me for post-grad life and the fact of you know nine to five like that's a big chunk of your day if that's what mostly everyone's doing or a lot of my friends are nurses so they're working 12-hour shifts or at night so they sleep during the day just you know a bunch of different things um so it really showed me early on that you know I need my friends aren't just like around they can't just like come hang out at midnight if they want to and you haven't seen them all day or you know just randomly run and get food with them real quick um so it really you know it kind of prepared me that in this stage of my life I need to be making the extra effort with friends and going out of my way to you know plan things and really keep up with them and you know I'm not going to see them at chapter or they're not just going to be randomly sitting in my living room when I come home and debrief the things going on in their life. You know, I'm going to have to set up FaceTime calls or I'm going to have to, you know, just go out of my way to text them about like, hey, we talked about this last time. Like, how did this go? Things like that. So even in the negative parts of being on that team, there were a lot of positive things that came out of it. Um, another thing that was kind of interesting. So friendship wise it's really interesting this is something that no one really talked about but I feel like 
needs to be talked about because the times that I have brought it up with people that have graduated in the past, they very much agree with me and said that the same thing happened to them, but I was not expecting it at all. So everyone knows goodbyes are hard and it's really hard too. I think a lot of my friends kind of had to have the feelings that I was having when we were actually graduating and ending school because I'm from Lexington where the school is. And a lot of them were staying for a few weeks in the summer. So I was like, oh, not everyone's leaving now. Like, But they pretty much like packed up their stuff. They just were staying like two extra weeks just to hang out with people. So in my mind, you know, I'm not leaving. So it doesn't necessarily feel like everything is ending on this day for me. So I think a lot of my friends started feeling the effects of graduating like very much into like April, like before we graduated. And goodbyes are hard. And so I think instead of you know, wanting to say goodbye to certain people or, you know, if you kind of knew that you all were close within your friend group, but not close of where you were probably going to talk much outside of the friend group after college, um, they kind of just shut down and stopped pretending to even like give you the time of day now. Um, and so that was like a really hard thing for me to learn. So I didn't really understand what was going on, but as I've kind of removed myself from the situation I think I realized that there were a lot of like hurt and just like confusing feelings for everyone at that time um just because you don't know what's next you feel out of control of what's happening you feel like everything's being ripped away from you that you knew and it's all ending so fast and so I think that a lot of that it was just easier to like cut things off or like push people away towards the end um or just true colors started showing. I don't I don't know which one it is. Um might be a mix of both, but that's also prepared me as I was talking before of in this new stage of life, you know, really getting to choose the people that I want to surround myself with for my adulthood versus they're a great time and they're super fun and we laugh a lot in college, but have they really lifted me up at all in the friendship? Or is this just kind of like a place and timing thing we get along? So, I just kind of wanted to mention that. Um, not to sound super negative about all of it, but I know in my last recap videos, I always talked about kind of what friendships I was looking like and how to make friendships in college. And so this on the other half of it, I kind of want to talk about, you know, I don't know. I just, like I said before, nobody really mentions that friends might not be so nice towards the ends of college even though you think they should be because you're leaving um so that was kind of a weird thing for me because I just wished I would have had for some people a better like memory of them whether or not we talked much after college anyways I wish I would have just kind of had a more positive like memory of them to leave with but so I feel like I don't know as much to recap about this year but I'll end with like the two most fun things I think of the year. So one of them was, I mentioned the Youse before. And at the Youse in the front, one of my roommates is one of the most spontaneous imaginative people I've ever met. And so I don't know if she was having like a do to do play around semester because I did not have time for this, but like kudos to her because she got the fun going. So our landlord hates us pretty much because of all this, but whatever. And... <laughs> So, throughout the year, we had, it started off with a birthday party where we had a bounce house, and that was, I don't know, like, first month of school. Had to be really early. It might have been even before school started. I cannot remember. So, we had the bounce house, and then later throughout the year, we had a trampoline make it. Yeah, they were not happy about that one. The landlords did not like that. We had the trampoline. We had a bouncy house again. We had a pool. We, let's see, we had ducks in our house at one point. Um, just a bunch of really random things always going on at the house, which made it so much fun. And you would look on like Yik Yak and people would be like, anyone know what's going on at that yellow house on Woodland right now? <laughs> and so it was just really funny. Always a good time. Always something new happening. If I didn't have my class project, then I, you know, we would all gather around on Tuesday nights or Mondays to watch The Bachelor, or Dancing with Stars, or blah blah blah, etc. Whatever. Um, so just a lot of good friendship memories, especially because my sophomore and junior year, I 
was friends with my roommates, um, but we weren't best friends, so we kind of had our own people that we would hang out with, and we would, like, occasionally have group things at the house. A little bit more my sophomore year than my junior year. My junior year, we really didn't. So this year, it was fun to get an experience where it was just, like, a bunch of girls that are all friends in one house, like, doing things together, having similar interests. So that was really, really fun. Um, probably the other thing that was super fun was the trips that I went on with college friends this year. So, in... October? Yeah, for fall break, I went to Myrtle Beach with my boyfriend's fraternity and a bunch of my friends, and it was really fun. I don't really need to ever go back to Myrtle again. That was quite enough for me, <laughs> but that was a super fun trip, and just a lot of... The frat formals, they just feel like college, like you're in college. And so we did that one, and we did West Virginia later in the spring, which was super fun because I got to learn how to ski for the first time. Um, and that was a whole different experience. Again, don't really have a need to go back to West Virginia. Okay, so I feel like I... Honestly, I just, like, don't know what else to recap. Because if you want advice on what you need for college and going through college and stuff, go watch my recap videos from before... Sir! What? So you're driving now. <laughs> My car also just turned on because it thinks something's like someone just got in the car because Murphy's in the front seat. I had to sit over here because I couldn't move the steering wheel enough. A word of encouragement for those of us that are going to the next phase. It's very weird because there's always been school for a lot of us. Like even yes, college was scary. It was so different, but it was still school. Like you knew what you were doing. Um, but. Just some things you don't have to take the pressure off of. Like, LinkedIn is my best friend. I was on a competition team where the top 14 of us were picked from our major. Like, you had to interview and you got picked to be on the team. And literally none of us had jobs when we graduated. Like, I think two people have actual jobs now since summer started. But, like, nobody had jobs when we walked across the stage at graduation. So, if that's your encouragement for anything, the job market, like, literally sucks. And I saw a TikTok the other day. Hi, baby. I saw a TikTok the other day, and it was, like, me with two biochem degrees, and he was, like, working the dish pit at a restaurant. And everyone in the comments was, like, saying, like, I have two undergrads and a master's, and I can't get a job, like, blah, 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 blah. So, if that, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, I have been, update on me, I've been working at Central Bank Center, which is the convention center connected to Rupp Arena. And so I do marketing for all of like shows that come by. I also do marketing for the Lexington Opera House. And I actually get to work my first show um, on Tuesday. And I'm working Justin Timberlake. And then like a week and a half or so after that, I get to work Olivia Rodrigo. And I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. But we also have like random shows. Like last weekend, it was Monster Jam. So Monster Trucks came. That was kind of cool. <laughs> um, so it's been really cool. I've been working as an intern in their marketing department. Um, and 9 to 5 is already like... Bleh. So I'm really, you know, trying to pick up the freelance stuff on the side. See, just playing around, seeing what I can do. Um, I really like the job and I like the people that I'm working with. But when I'm done with my work by 3 p.m. And literally no one has anything for me to do. Which will possibly change when I, like, have an actual job and not just an intern. I just, like cannot wrap my head around sitting at a desk with nothing to do it just hurts it hurts me it hurts me as a creative I just can be doing so many other things um and it's not like school where I was really bad about when the teachers were talking doing homework for other classes and so like I still want to do that like I want to sit at the desk and do stuff for my own like YouTube and social media and work and stuff like that but I feel like that's not what I'm supposed to be doing because I'm not being paid there to do their work I'm doing other work but they have nothing for me so then I'm just like <laughs> So, that's really been navigating. That really made the feelings about graduating set in because it's summer, but I really haven't, like, laid out once. I haven't done anything because I'm working, and I'm like, this sucks. I don't enjoy this. But, staying on the positive side, not settling down just because it's a job, it's a job. Like, I would rather find a job that I truly enjoy and have enough work for than... What is this dude doing? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's so embarrassing. So, as I showed you before, Murphy's currently sitting in the driver's seat. Yeah. And I'm sitting in the side seat. Oh, are we, are we coming over? Hi, lady. Oh, you're making everything fall. Um, and these people pulled up because I'm like downtown sitting beside like this church just because I wanted to park somewhere and film this where the light lighting would be good and Murphy wanted to ride so of course I'd take him on a ride first and these people were going into the church and they parked like right facing in front of me and they just pulled up to a girl talking to her camera and the dog's sitting in the driver's seat and I they're just probably like what like I'm just being talked about it's funny hey you're in my shot Mm. You're in my shot, Booga Booga. Oh, I love Murphy. I. Oh, we're coming over here, are we? Okay. Yeah. You gonna come over here? You wanna come over here? Whoa, careful. 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 Um. But yeah, there is no pride about moving back home with your parents after college if. You have to, if they're letting you do that, that is actually such a blessing because so many people don't get the opportunity to do that and figure out their lives. So thank you to my parents. Um, there's this really funny clip. I was rewatching my old vlogs and it was the one from when I turned 18. And I just said this really funny line about being mean to my parents and I'm just gonna put it in because I think it's so funny. And I remember my friends watching that video and like that was the first vlog that I made that people were like, hey, that's actually kind of funny. You're actually kind of good at this. So I'm gonna put it in. We got the Starbucks bag secure. Maybe we can function now and stop being a little bitch to everyone. I do apologize to my parents because I am never nice to them, but I just don't, I'm a horrible person and I just snap for no reason because I get really stressed out on days when I have events. Anyway, I got the coffee. And then I'm going to apologize to my parents because you all are pretty cool and I like enjoy living with you. So thanks and I'm glad to be home. I said in all the other videos, you know, stop putting so much pressure and expectations on yourself while you're in college to know what you're doing, but the same goes for after. Like yes, I have a better idea of what I would like to do now and I learned so much about myself in college and so much about my passions and what I like. But I also sit here and I'm like, I want to do everything. I want to open a coffee shop. I want to be in a movie. I want to be a marketing director. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to run shows. I want to blah, 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 blah. Literally a new thing every day. Last week, they had like FBI. You could be an FBI agent. I was like looking into it, but then you have to be 23, so I'm not old enough. So, <sighs> tragic. But it's really okay not to know. And that's the fun of it. And, you know, right now I'm just being a girl putting on my pretty outfit and talking to my camera so strangers can laugh at me and that's all that I know right now and yeah that's closing my chapter it's kind of sad that I won't be able to open up my YouTube videos and be like hey if you're new to my channel I'm a student at the University of Kentucky because I'm not anymore I'm just an alumni um but yeah I it'll be interesting to see which way my YouTube content kind of takes off from here um, just because I, college was such a, like, easy way to video more people. With such an easy thing of things always going on to film. And just kind of seeing which way I want to go with my YouTube. Um, most importantly though, I started a podcast. So if you haven't, please, please, please go check it out. I will link it down below. It's on Spotify. It's not that deep podcast. You can also find it on Instagram. And then the link to the podcast will be in the bio. Um, and you can th find that through my normal Instagram account, too. If you don't know where to go find that, it's just at Abigail underscore. So, yeah. Uh, a lot of you have watched me grown in the last four years. That's been, like, the entirety of my YouTube channel, which is so cool. I'm so excited to keep going through new experiences with you guys and just seeing where life takes us and getting to watch it back one day. So, here's to the next chapter of our lives. I uh, love you guys. See you later.